Crossroads Media. Dave Dombrowski doesn't sleep. All he does is add to the bullpen. Hello, Soto. Hello, Strom. Hello, Kimbrel. Hello, other minor moves like Marte, which we will get into. It's absurd how we look at last year's roster and you flip some of the young kids that have a little bit of intrigue because you went on a nice run and they helped out in doses. And other teams are like, wow, hold on a second. Is there something to Nick Maton? Is there there's something to Matt Veerling. While Dave Dombrowski goes, yeah, that's cute. You can have me, Tom, because we're going to add Trey Turner. This is what good organizations do. And I think you need to get accustomed to it because there's a man in charge who just gets the damn game. When you make a World Series run and a very, very small role player like Nick Maton and Matt Veerling do whatever it is that they do, and other teams are like, oh, that's nice. You get rid of those guys for a player like Soto in your pen who throws heat. You get another lefty who's basically a Jose Alvarado 2.0. You work with it a little bit because here's the thing. Jose Alvarado, his career numbers when it comes to the walk rate is uh, 13.6, which is very, very high, right? But Alvarado cut his walk rate to 9.4 after returning to that to the majors after the AAA stint. Once again, we need to get accustomed to realizing that the Phillies are ran very well now. You can help and change players, and they could be better. Look at what happened out in center field. The Angels, I don't know what Marsh is. Well, I think we could do something with him. There was a time where Brandon Marsh gave you something way better than what he was doing out in L.A. at the dish because Dave Dombrowski said, there's something in that swing that we're going to tweak. We're going to get it out of him. Let's make the move. And by the way, he's here for a long period of time. This is something else that's beautiful about what he's doing. Soto is here through 2025. Uh, Sosa is a guy that has some years with arbitration. Brandon Marsh is going to be here for a nice chunk of change or a nice period of time as well. Th th this is this is this is beautiful. This is this is savage. This is what somebody with a brain does. So my point is, Kimbrel, we saw it with Alvarado. They're going to try and do something similar with. Soto, because in his last two years, his walk rate is 13.7, which is 0.1 higher than what the career is for Alvarado. But the 9.4 that they cut it to after AAA, you saw how much of a difference that really was. It's like I'm in all, right? Canable's not here. Familia's not here. Robertson's not here. Hand's not here. Here's what you do have, though. You lose that bullpen which some guys weren't really good, Familia being one of them. Hand was really up and down. His ERA told a different story than reality. Knable, I just thought he wasn't healthy. But that's the thing. It's not as if every guy Dave Dombrowski makes a move for is going to be exceptional. It's going to be insane. Because that's just not how bullpen pieces work. But if you got a lot of guys that can throw a lot of heat, and a lot of guys that have the upside, you hit on a certain percentage of them, and then you're good to go. Sir Anthony Dominguez, he could save a baseball game. Soto, he could save a baseball game. Alvarado, he could save a baseball game. Kimbrell, I know the role early on isn't to do it, and I don't know exactly what he is, but heading into the season, if the role is going to be sixth, seventh inning, well, it's a totally different beast. You're not demanding him to grab the ball in the ninth, and he knows that. And once again, I think that there's things that they can do to help him out, to get him back on track. And you don't need him to be the shutdown dude. You don't need him to be that automatic, here we go, it's the ninth, go to Kimbrell. You've got plenty of options. And you still have Brogdon. You still have Bellotti. You picked up Strom. You have Nick Nelson. What, what a ridiculous thing to say. A few years back, we watched the worst bullpen in the history of the game. 
followed up by another disastrous season. You add Trey Turner to a World Series roster and you bring in this type of talent in the back end? You watched what Houston was capable of doing. Dave Dombrowski said, we need something like that. By the way, let's go get a Taiwan Walker. By the way, let's get the best shortstop that's available in the market. But I have to admit, I'm a little surprised by the reaction to Nick Maton and Matt Veerling. Because you would think that they were all-star superstars and they're getting a $400 million contract and you let them go. You would think that this is what the Boston Red Sox are going through, letting go of Bogarts. Now, they tied up Rafael Devers, but it was a bit messy. It was sticky there at Fenway Park for a while. And they're still not pumped with what's going on. My point is, when you saw those guys in the deal, you can't give up Nick Maton. What? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. There is a cycle when you are a franchise that people respect. And you flip guys. You flip utility players. Where's Nick Maton going to play? There's injuries that happen throughout the regular season. We saw that last year, no doubt about it. But if you don't trust Dave, and right now you have your whole infield intact, Stott every day at second, Trey Turner at short, Bohm at third, Sosa as your utility man, and there's some other things that you can do. But at the end of the day, I, look, Nick Maton's a nice little player. 250 energizer, energy guy, right? You don't have the spot to play him. And you give up that for someone who could throw the baseball as hard as Soto can. The guy's been an all-star for two straight seasons.